All right, here's the deal. I am very curious about women's sizes and jeans. I want to investigate women's sizes across a bunch of different jean brands. I want to get measured professionally. I want to take those professional measurements to the stores and I want to see what size am I really and why are there so many differences across all these different brands. Like look how much room, like you could fit an entire other person it in is. there. And I brought in Erin because she's a bitch. <laughs> Can you put these scissors here? <laughs> it's for me in case I want to. <laughs> I brought in Erin because I know that she will tell me the truth about how I look in these brands, in these jeans, and you need a shopping buddy, right? And to chime in here, I also have a similar body type to Lauren. I'm very curvy. I hate jean shopping. It's so hard. I never know what size I am. So I'm actually yeah. hoping I vicariously learn through this experience. <laughs> I can buy some new jeans that fit me. So I asked you guys on Instagram, I need to know what are your favorite types of jeans. And usually I get like 50 responses to the like question function. Yeah. I got 300 answers from you guys. So that is what helped me choose the brands that I'm gonna go investigate. I'm gonna use the exact same jean style across all the brands, high-waisted, stretchy, cause Obvi, that's the most flattering for my body type. I'm gonna try on jeans that are dictated by what my physical measurements are. My obsession with figuring out my jean size and jean sizing in general began with that Fashion Nova haul video we did. I remember. I ordered a size that I have never ordered before and I loved the jeans that I was wearing. They, they fit you amazingly. They fit me differently. I also, but I love the jeans that I already have that are a different size. So I'm all sorts of confused. I don't know why I'm one size at Fashion Nova and another size at all these other places. All these brands have different waist to hip measurements for the numeric sizes. So I wanna know what brands are better for my body type because I don't think anyone is one size, one size. Okay, so the most popular brand that you guys told me on Instagram was American Eagle. So let's start there. Okay, let's just pick this. I know, so this is what's crazy about sizing charts. It just doesn't matter what style of jean you pick. It's the same sizing chart. Hit they the don't size change. Chart. Hit the size chart. I'm curious to see. Yeah, I okay. I'll screen you guy right now to show you. Because I don't believe that. Okay. Let's go pick a completely different style of jean. We're going off on a little tangent here, but this is important. Ew, what? are these they're like skater pants god all right let's look at the sizing chart take a little screen grab yeah i mean i guess that's and then the same. isn't that just absurd all right i guess we'll see yeah the only thing that changes is length extra mm. short is 29 okay but yeah everything else is new mm -hmm. so okay. right now a 10 in american eagle is waist is 30 and hip is 39. i'm gonna start a little list and i'm gonna make a spreadsheet Wow, this Where is are so my pens? I was gonna say this is so professional, but then I was like, wait a minute. All right, I've got what American Eagle is. If you had to guess what the second most popular jean brand my Instagram said, what would you what would you pick? I'm gonna say Express, just because that's what I like. It's in there, but it was actually Old Navy. Super skinny. I've never been to this website. Jacking right there. Interesting. See, already their waist is smaller than American Eagle's waist. Yeah. <gasps> Maybe it's just their designers like to make their jeans a little smaller. I think, um, where are we, Old Navy? Yeah. This is, that feels backward to what I would think. Actually, the third most popular brand that was suggested is Levi's, which I have never owned. 7 -11. these are expensive. $98 for quote unquote mom jeans. Yeah, but look at the other side. These are like these. 55 is expensive for jeans. I don't think so. I think that's pretty average. Let us know in the comments what you pay for jeans. If, is 55 more than this, what you would pay? I don't know, this seems like a lot. So their 10 is about the same as American Eagle's 10. 30 inches. Oh wait, 31, even bigger. That's jean size. That's that other weird numeric size what number. What does that even mean? I thought it was supposed to coordinate with waist, but look at the waist measurement. What is a jean size? That's what we're trying to figure out, Aaron. I don't understand this language. So let's okay. check out Express. So a 10, oh, this is like size eight to 10. It's a range. How is eight to 10 and even a size? If you're an eight to 10, you're a 28 and a half to 30 waist. That is not helpful. Aaron, what am I gonna do? I don't know. I wish I had answers for you. I'm learning just like you're learning. Forever 21 was also super popular, which is fascinating to me because I feel like all their sizes are small, medium, large. And they're all different. Like every pair of jeans there feels like they're made by a different maker. Yeah. This doesn't even have size 10 and 12. 
See, their size 30 is a 30 waist. Their size 31 is a 31 waist. But is it different for a pair of jeans? Let's find out. High waist skinny jeans. No, it's the same. That's impossible. It's impossible that every single pair of jeans at Forever 21 has the exact same sizing chart. Let's try one of the expensive brands you guys suggested, which was Madewell. A size 10 in Madewell is a 30 waist and a 40 and a half hip. It wasn't suggested by Instagram, but it's Khloe Kardashian's jean company, Good American. Oh, that makes so much sense. Okay. Waist is 30 and a half. 30 and a half? That might be the biggest waist that we've seen, and the hip is 41. Okay, now the last place we have to check is the one that started it all and I'm so curious to see Fashion Nova. Okay, so even just their models on the website look, look like me, like you. Proportionately different, yeah. So these are odd numbers. Um, I was measuring 10 and 12 and now Fashion Nova only has 11 and 13, so I'm gonna go with those two. Yeah. And an 11 is a 30 waist and a 41 hip, which feels bigger than the other ones. All right, I'm gonna put all this information into a spreadsheet. You do spreadsheets? This is science, Erin. All right, so now let's measure me based mm. on what the internet says is the appropriate way to measure yourself. And then we'll go to the denim doctors and get professionally measured and see like how off I am at measuring myself. Yeah. Or on. Measure me. I don't know if I'm the right person because I only know like a hole and a half. Hurry, line. I'm sweating and okay. I don't smell very good. Okay. So if we're doing it by Fashion Nova's, <laughs> Her belly button is not right there. See, that's You're what right. I'm saying. Okay, this? I don't wanna know, I'm so scared. You don't wanna know? Or I mean, I wanna know. Don't tell me, tell me. For the video, do you want? Ooh, wait. <laughs> no, Measure no. now. No. I'm like, sucking in. You're, no, that's not gonna fit you. You stop it. Yeah. 31 and a half inches. Okay, so. I don't know what that means, but that's what it is according to my measurements. Why did we let the person bad with numbers measure me? <laughs> Almost a 40, okay, you're 46. 46? Let me try again. That's, That's not again. even any of the numbers that we looked at today. Aaron. That's okay, Lauren, because there are genes for everybody. I am even more confused now than I was before we started this. I know, but that's because we need to go to a professional, which I am not. So let's go to a tailor and get you measured. All right, let's, let's do it. all about women's sizing and jeans. Erin measured me and my measurements don't align with any of the sizing charts of the brands that we just looked into. So I'm really curious to see what my professional measurements are. Is it easy to measure yourself? Did we do it wrong? So let's start there. So you're 32. <sighs> I was a 31 and a half for you. You were holding real tight. That's what it is according to my measurements. Because well, your hip's right there, right? Right where you're... That's there. way higher. Because it's in there. the largest part of your hip. Well, you can go down here, but then there's... This is this would technically would be the rump. So you want to go where the hip... Kind of where that hip bone is. You are a... 41 and a half. See, that makes more sense. When you measured me, I was a 46. Because she was doing my rump. According to my measurements. Okay, so I have a lot of questions about women's jeans. First of all, why are there odd number jeans and then even number jeans and then a 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30? It depends on the company when it comes to 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay. Where are they manufactured? Nowadays, we do what's called vanity sizing for modern day clothing. Back in the day, they went by actual measurements. So when you were a size 27, you were a size... 27. What generally happens is if you were a 30 and you go to a new company, you'll probably be a 28. Wow. Is it because they want to make women think that, oh, at Zara, I'm smaller? Yeah. <gasps> the vanity size. What? So, because girl, they think women like having, having small smaller numbers. Sizes. I do have a question about measuring yourself at home and then buying a pair of jeans. Since we are looking at consistent, stretchy jeans, is your measurement true to the size or should you give yourself a little extra, or give yourself a little extra less because the jean is stretchy? I would say in general, I try to go a little bit small when I first get them. And that's only because with the cotton that's inside of it, like it's a blend, right? Mm -hmm. So it's generally like a spandex cotton blend. And when you're 
short. First in them, they're nice and tight. And then you're moving around and you're, you know, doing your thing. And then they're gonna mold to you and they're gonna stretch. That's why people wanna put everything inside of the dryer. Get them right. nice and tight again. The only thing about that is that it can destroy the fibers of the denim. I would cold wash inside out to keep the mm. dyes in there. Inside out. Inside out. Take them out, dry them. They're gonna feel really weird and crisp when they're all dry. And then you put them in the dryer for five minutes. When you put them in the dryer when they're still wet, it's kind of ripping at the fibers and it's actually deteriorating them faster. Can I actually legitimately measure this waist? And then you double it. Mm -hmm. So that's a 32, 32. waist. Yeah, so I'm gonna put all of these jeans to the test and see if their waist actually is what they say it is. Awesome, Victoria, thank you so yeah, much. This absolutely. Has been very Such enlightening. A... We're gonna we're gonna change the world. We're gonna blow the lid off of women sizing the jeans. So yeah, good. don't be intimidated. You just gotta try. You yeah, know? just try, 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 try. Okay, Aaron, we have our coffee. This is the most caffeinated we're gonna be, so you know what that means. We should start at Forever 21. So we just spent so long looking for a pair of jeans that fit all the parameters. I have too many options here. This is gonna be really interesting because according to my waist, I'm a 31 here at Forever 21, but their hip measurement is like three inches smaller than mine. I don't know if I hope. This is not like a flattering cut, but the jeans do fit, surprisingly. This is a 30. Other than the fact that like, look how much room is back here. Yeah, I think you could do go down maybe two more sizes. Wow, what if I have to go down? I'll go grab you a 29 if you want. Okay. Grab a 21, you are surprising me. So this is crazy, because this is a 31 and is way tighter than the 30. Also, this is supposed to be a high rise and it's below my belly button. That was like near the impossible. I think everything at Forever 21 is different. Every pair of jeans, literally different size, different material. The ones I just did, you didn't see, were high-waisted, but they came underneath my belly button. Not high enough, not close enough to God. Those look really good. But again, it looks a little big. How crazy is that? So you would need a 30 in this particular jean, maybe. It's very frustrating. This is the only 29? No, this is one too, but it has buttons. Oh, that's so much work. And this does not look like... Oh, get your tape measure out. Ooh, the tape measure! 14 and a half. Let me just give it a little extra. Okay, let's say 14 and a half. That's a 29. That's, that's, that's right. I had measured it wrong. My measurements. All right, Lauren, how are the 20? They fit you so well. I mean, they're not buttoned yet. They look real mm -hmm. sexy. I feel like they're not flattering of like a color. Look at the butt. How goes like, whoop. I love that, that's sexy. You don't love this jean style. I don't like the color of the jean, but. Do you feel comfortable in a 29? It's very comfy. What is happening? Um, I think the learning here is that Forever 21 has a different style jean literally in every jean, and you have to come in the store and try it on. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. This was a good first stop. Where to next? Let's go to Express because I'm very curious to see what their size chart says I am. Forever 21, I tried on a 29, which is equivalent of an 8. I tried on a 30, which is equivalent of a 10. And I tried on a 31, which is equivalent of a 12. And in Express clothes, I've only ever bought 10. So let's do an 8, a 10, and a 12 and see. really hard to get into, but they look really good on you. Except for around my waist. I don't love them, and, but this is the size I wear in Express. Why don't you love them? <sighs> they just, they feel, they, feel, they feel too tight. They look too small, so I'm gonna try on 12, which I've never worn in Express before. Okay. Yeah, these are more comfortable than mine, but yeah, the waistband is too big. Okay, but it's more comfortable. It's way more comfortable. You can eat a lot more and feel a lot less bad about it. Yes. I think this is a good 
comparison. We can't really stretch out the waist camera. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Look at that. You're sweating in here. <laughs> I gotta get out, Aaron. I gotta get out. According to Old Navy's size chart, my measurements indicate that I'm a 12. Like, that I wouldn't even be able to fit into a 10. Can I do them all in this style? Though? Yeah. Yeah, I see, I see them all. It's great. Oh, um, they feel a little big, but like not, they also don't feel that like flattering. Yeah, like the waist feels a little too loose. Like it's slowly falling down. I'll try on the 10. You should go a size smaller. It looks like there's a lot of extra space in there. Oh, oh, that's not a noise you want to hear. Something about the pockets are like kind of high up, which makes slim. this area of your body look really long. Oh God, are you going to be able to get out? I think it's safe to say that these are not the right size. All right, we are now at our second mall because there's nowhere in LA that you can find all the brands I wanted to find in one place. Here's how I feel so far. Forever 21, really liked Old Navy. Not sure how I felt. Express felt like a prison, which is interesting because they also yelled at us for filming there. We need to find a Madewell, Levi's, and American Eagle. They're really, like really soft. I think it might be a Levi's convict. Convict? You're going to you're going to Levi's prison? A convert. You know what? They look the most like real jeans of yeah. all the pairs that you've tried on. Everything else does look like a jegging to me. I like my butt the most in this. Yeah, I think your butt from this angle looks real perky. Like it makes me want to just like. What I love is they fit you in the waist and in the hip, and you haven't really been able to find a pair that have done that perfectly. Where do I keep my red wine? Yeah, you, right you should just have a separate bag for that. Because they're also a hundred dollars. How much are these? 128. 128. You already looked. I think it's a little too big. This is the 31. Yeah. What do you think? I like these a lot. They're like basic, but they have a little more style going on. I actually like the Levi's better. Really? Mm -hmm. I think these don't boost your butt as much as the Levi's do. Let me try a smaller, smaller. Size. Yeah. Let's go down the size. Not as low. My belly button was covered. So I gotta. Get in there. Are they as comfortable? No. no. You like the larger no. size better. Yeah. This feels a little suffocating. Let me just try the button and then I'll make my decision. Yeah, we have a second, we have a second pair. Okay, we just switched the style up and these are button up crotches. It's just so loose right here. But maybe you would be more comfortable. This is a different style. There's a lot of room in here. There's so much. They're so comfy. I don't even see how loose they are. Let's try the smaller size. Yeah. These fit. <laughs> Took me a while because I'm sweaty and sticky. I really love the buttons and on these. Buttons make you look like a little like like poofy right there, but that's yeah. very flat. I like the length on these too. Yeah. They don't look like you're going clam digging, you know. <laughs> Done. This has been a very enlightening day. This is the good American jean that I ordered online. It's Khloe Kardashian's brand. It's supposed to be built for smaller waists and bigger hips. I have to say I'm a little out of breath because it was easy to get in, but the zipper, I couldn't zip up. It feels comfortable now, but I like, you should see my, my fingers are red trying to pull the zipper up for some reason. I like the way they look on me. Well, there is a huge gap in the no gap waistband. These pants are supposed to be known for not having a gap and there's so much room here. What do you think? I really like them a lot. I do too. The waist is very comfortable. This feels very tight in my knees. These are 150. I think they're beautiful. I don't think they're $150 beautiful in my opinion, but I'm not wearing them. You're the one who's gonna have to decide in the end. So these are the Fashion Nova jeans that I bought online and these are the highest waist 
of all the jeans I've tried on. Agreed. These are like close to my bra and I love it. I love how high-waisted these are. They're as comfortable as the Forever 21 jeans. Like they are clearly very thin, but they're so comfortable. And they still look like jeans. And it's a good color. It's a good size. I don't love how much emphasis on this part of my body there is. It's because the jean material is so, so, thin. so thin and so soft. It really isn't as forgiving. Yeah. They were $20? Uh, no, these were $30. Oh, for $30, yes. Yeah. I think these are way better than the Forever 21 pair that you have. If you're gonna spend $30, I'd rather spend it on these than those. Yeah. They're the most comfortable. I don't think they're the most flattering. Fashion Nova's jeans are clearly meant for a smaller waist. waist and a bigger hip ratio. All right, we got all the jeans from the mall. Oh. We ordered two online. I know that these jeans fit me. Now I wanna know which ones fit me the best. Which is the perfect jean for my body type. Let's do it. So Lauren's back there changing. I think she's gonna pick, gosh, I don't know. I think she's gonna pick the Levi jeans. I think mentally she just thinks they're the best pair and she won't get off of it. If she comes out here in those Forever 21 jeans, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna sit down and cover my eyes. Okay. It feels like it's the ratio in all the right parts. Like this is just a good pair of jeans for my body. And they're special. They do look so unique, yeah. but they don't look crazy. I'm so glad you chose the Madewell jeans. If you didn't take them, I was gonna take them away. <laughs> and what I do love about Madewell, by the way, this is not sponsored, but when we were in the store, I noticed this marquee where they said that if you take your jeans and you donate mm -hmm. them, they will take your jeans, turn it into insulation for homes, and then you can get $20 off your first pair of jeans. So that's a great deal if you don't wanna necessarily invest $135. I think the biggest takeaway here is you gotta try on jeans. Unfortunately, you just can't trust the sizing chart because mm -hmm. no gene is made alike and your body is so different from the next person's body. You gotta go honor yourself and your body and try on jeans in person. I was wearing the wrong size for years because I was embarrassed to, to go up to what my true size is. But if you find a pair of jeans, you ignore the size and they just look good on you, you're gonna look so much better in those jeans than you would in a size that's too small for you. This was so fun. You guys, let us know in the comments below if there are other clothing items that are troubling that you want us yeah. to go investigate next. I know leggings was on a list for us. Yes. Like workout pants, bras. Yes. Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and go follow us on the social needs. And let us know what you thought of this, what did I call it? Oh, this genius investigation. Oh yes. Thanks Aaron. You're welcome. I'll buy you lunch. You can have some of my jeans. As long as I can touch you, it's okay. Uh, okay, that was weird. That took a turn. <laughs>